Plaintiff Tasha Moore met the defendant at work, and while the defendant was on break from his girlfriend, who was his witness today, he and Tasha started dating. Tasha claims she broke up with the defendant after he reconciled with his girlfriend. And she's suing him today for rental car expenses. Defendant Demarcus Robinson says he never dated Tasha, and they only had sex two times. And she was nothing more than a sugar mama. Demarcus claims he and his girlfriend are still together, and she's now pregnant with his child. And he insists he gave Tasha money towards the rental car. Start with you. So I'm a community health worker and program coordinator for a community center that Demarcus also worked for the human services part of it. But he didn't work at my satellite. He worked at a different satellite, and that's how I met Demarcus. But um, I met him in November. That's when we started, like, flirting with each other. But he, that's just what he was, a big flirt. He flirted with everybody in the center, all, especially the white co -work, my white co-workers. But anyway, said especially the white women. The white ladies, <laughs> yep. He'd be all up in our faces. My daughter, my daughter mother is white, so. Go ahead. So uh, DeMarcus used to come, DeMarcus came into the center one day with a situation and he needed some help. The workers couldn't help him out without my permission because he lived out of the, the, out of the area. Cause, so what we are is a one-stop shop for the Broadway Fillmore community. So, and he was out of the, uh, his, he wasn't in our zip code. So he need, they needed my permission. So I came out, I gave him permission to help him out because I knew he was a coworker. So we helped DeMarcus out with that situation, and I, I think that was that. But he kept continuing to come back down to the center and sit down and talk to me and talk with me because he knew that I was also a former addict. I was, I was on crack for 15 years, and I got eight years clean next month. And so working he at a center, to, do you counsel at the center regarding I drug abuse? I do case abuse? management. Yes, I do. Good. I do. Good. I'll reach everything. Good. So that's how we got started talking. So eventually in January, um, I guess DeMarcus broke up with his girlfriend for a reason, for something. And that's when me and DeMarcus hooked up. It, he was at my house the whole week and things like that. Sir? Um, I'm here basically because the plaintiff, Tasha Moore, she's upset that we no longer deal with each other. You know, we had sex twice. She knew the fact that I was in a relationship despite that she, she was aware of it. And basically it just came down to, she was like my sugar mom. She wanted me to stay there, stay What'd at her get? house. With, what did I get? I got a couple thousand from her, some clothes. He lying. Am I? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I wouldn't be here if I was lying. Right, you okay. wouldn't be getting sued if she was a right. sugar mama. That's, that's understandable, Your Honor. Yeah, well, she wasn't a I sugar mean, mama for you. She was a loan mama to you. Right, a she loan. she wanted her money back. Who's your witness? Uh, this is the young lady, which is my fiance. Stand my, up. My daughter's, State my son's name. mom. Latoya Hinton. All right. Now, what's his deal? Is he a good guy? Yes. Never try to get any money out of you? No. Never try to hustle you no. out of any money? No. If she knew the things that he was saying about her, she wouldn't be standing here in this courtroom today. Oh, Ma'am, I, 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 I knew about, about you. I knew about you. I knew about you. I been knew about you. But I knew about you, so it didn't matter. I'm sorry, man. I didn't I'm mean sorry. to start I'm no sorry. stuff. I didn't mean to get you in no stuff. <laughs> Sit yeah, back down. She pregnant. I'm pregnant. Oh, I get it. I didn't mean to get in there. I'm sorry. Thank you. All right, you don't sound like you play too much. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. <laughs> so you all were involved with each other. It lasted for about a month off and on because Latoya was mad that I wasn't coming home. I spent two nights over there at her residence. She was mad about it. And I was being sneaky as well. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, I was the angel. I was being sneaky. I was doing it behind her back in order to benefit from her. But what I benefited from her, I brought it back home. You know what I'm saying? So basically, that's where the riffraff came in because she felt as though I wasn't spending enough time. She was mad that I didn't want to stay in her apartment. Whatever me and my woman was going through, that's what we were going through, but I displayed something different to her. Go ahead, ma'am. How does he do Demarcus would like for y'all to believe that, but that's not true. Demarcus stayed at my house for the whole week that they was broke up and some prior to that. Um, far as me buying him stuff or giving him money, I never gave him money, but $40 to put to wash his truck after he got his truck. On Easter, 
he, he was always with me at my aunt's house, going to uh, my friend, my best friend's house, my cousin's house, everything. On Easter, me and my kids, we, we are brand new from the, from, the, from the shoes to the head. Plus, we having dinner at my house where all my family going to come to my house. He was always busted looking. So therefore, I couldn't have him with my family looking like you that. You couldn't even bring him around. No, not looking like unless that. Clean, so I bought him a pair. clean him up. Right, a little bit, though, because I bought him a pair of Air Force Ones. Men wear Jordans and Air Max. I bought him a pair of Air Force Ones and a sweatsuit so he could look decent while he was hanging around all my Which other I boy cousins. Which I the same day. Which I crushed the same day. Hanging around all my boy cousins at my house. And right. the things he would say about this young lady right here is ridiculous. Like, I knew DeMarcus was staying with his mother, sleeping on an air mattress at his mother's house as a senior citizen with the young lady. But like I said, he told me they had broke up. Yes, because and my mom... And when they hooked back right. up... Why are you bringing that up? When they hooked back up, Judge Mathis, right. he told me either I'm back with Shorty, so either you gonna roll with it or you not. And I told him I wasn't. So that's why we're here a year later? I told him, no, that's How not why we're here. How does he owe you here. $600? Because I, um, Jamarcus got paid. He wanted a car, rent a car for his birthday. He don't have a credit card or anything like that. So he came, he came with his paycheck of $400. He paid for his rental. He paid for the rental. I didn't pay for the rental. But I could have, but I didn't. He sugar paid mama's for, supposed to right. pay for the rental. And it was his birthday. I sugar I mama you had. Chopped that right out, right? Go ahead. So anyway, the $600 come in because... He, he, we rented the car for a week, Your Honor, for him for a week. He's so dirty, the, the police took the car from him that night. He didn't even get to drive it for a week. The police took the car from him from that night because he didn't have no lights on in the car. They pulled him over. He was smoking weed, and they took the car from him. There's no smoking in the car. He was too high to even turn the lights on. Right. So the police pulled him over. So then I'm like, DeMarcus... You, what's going to happen? What's, cause I don't know what's going to happen, whatever, whatever. So he telling me what to do, this, this, that, and the third. And then when I call the people, they tell me, ma'am, you're going to owe some money, uh, some more money for the car, for him smoking in the car, for him getting it pounded and all these other things. So DeMarcus, a couple of days after that, DeMarcus gave me 400 more dollars. But then when he charged, when the man at the place took the money off of my credit card, mm -hmm. he took $1,387. Okay. Sir, what do you say to the $600 you owe for the rental car? For number one, I don't think I owe anything f specifically because when you rent a car, whoever you have drive, their name needs to be on a rental agreement in order for them to drive the car. Now, I never originally, I gave her $400 because yes, I got caught in her vehicle. That was assigned to her. As far as the $1,300, I don't have anything to say about that. Because once I got arrested because I, I turned the L, how do you say it, the LED lights on and not the overhead lights. So high, you don't know which lights to turn. It's on. a newer model. I drive, I drive old school. It's a newer, it's, a, it's an up-to-date car. You drive anything. You drive rental cars the sugar mamas pay for. Mm. <laughs> You're right. But long story short. You cost short. her $1,300 extra. Why don't you think you should pay for it since you caused it? Regardless of whose name is on it, you caused it. Your Honor, while he's sitting here trying to Hold discredit on, me and call me... I want to see his logic and see if he had a day. I Sir, don't... let's see if your logic is working. Okay, you I'm... caused the damage. So who should pay for the expense that she was charged? I should. All right. But yeah. on, a, on another note, though, I, I don't... I mean, I, I should pay for it. But it's just I gave her enough money already. I feel the way I'm kind of way about this man coming out here disrespecting me like that. But anyway, this is one of the letters that he wrote Let's to me. Please. I decided oh, to bring that in. Uh oh. That's one of the letters after I Close said I'm gonna it. leave Close you alone. Go it's your good. way. She could, she could. I'm glad you did what you did. What'd you do? I cussed him out, told him to get out my face, leave me alone. Mm. Mm hmm. Made me put things in perspective. I want to thank you for everything, and I do mean everything. Who is this, right? Him. Can I see the, the handwriting? I made some instant changes in my life. I don't mess with, he didn't say mess, he said the other word. I don't mess with old girl anymore. I'm still here. I'm still here though, so it don't matter. It's over. Mm. <laughs> it's over. Anywho, I'm apologetic as to my past actions. 
I don't want anything from you. You've provided me more than enough. You are a blessing. You are much better than Latoya. She's, <laughs> oh, she's nobody to <laughs> <He> me. <freestyle. laughs> I'm so in love with you. <laughs> I've never been more in love with anyone in my life. Oh, no, Latoya is right. just here temporarily. Don't be surprised if I bring her to court because I'm going to lie to her <laughs> and make her think she's special. Right. But after court, believe me, I'm going to be coming for you again. Because <laughs> you're the one I love. <laughs> he didn't go that far, Latoya. I mean, he didn't mention you, but he, you heard some of the stuff he did say. All right, sir. And you have no defense not paying. You agree that you caused this damage. He says he paid you already, however. He didn't pay me, Your Honor. And this is the promissory note that he signed that, that he would pay me. And when he got fired from our job, Ooh. he came down to the center that day. And got and some more money from and you. Asked, you ain't get nothing from me. <laughs> got the security guard. The security guard came and got me. He said, I just want to apologize to you. And I want to let... He didn't apologize. He said, I just want to let you know that I'm going to be working on the Grand Island Bridge for construction, which was a lie. He wasn't he even working on the Grand Island Bridge doing construction. The toy way he tell you he working. He works construction, not on the Grand Island Bridge. He has worked right. there previous You've seen him years. with some tools. I've seen the paperwork. Tools. Yes, we have. If you don't come home with any yes. tools, he ain't yes. working no construction. Yes, tools, higher head, right. everything. Right. You got him straight. All right, good. <laughs> 600 is your judgment. Have Thank a you. good day. Thank you. When he would go home to his mother's house, she wouldn't, she didn't cook him nothing to eat. She was no good. He had nothing but bad things to say about her. I'm just glad it's over. I don't got to deal with her no more. More power to you and the blue stripe. Thank I'm good. You.